Hello, everybody, and welcome back to DC Universe Online with me and Nick Nova. And last time, we started out our mission of becoming a superhero, and it was kind of a weird episode. It was a little funky how I had it set up, because I had to run halfway through. Well, first we had the, a little bit of machinima action right there about Nick, and then halfway through, I had to go get some pants, and then... The end, I got everything else, so yeah, we're back. Uh, I, uh, you guys let me know in the comments what you guys thought. A lot of you thought he looks badass. Uh, one of you said you didn't like the shoulders. One of you said I should put the hands on. Uh, so yeah, I, I think we'll just roll with this for now, especially since I made the thumbnail that way. <laughs> Please save me from not having to do more work, please. We'll try on the hands, but I don't really like the idea of putting hands on when he's such like a bruiser, you know? And I like the shoulders. I think the shoulders look cool. I wish they could go lighter, but eh, what are you going to do? Can't really get them lighter without it being all weird and stuff with the colors, because as soon as you start going up, the shoulders get super light faster. I guess we could go a little bit lighter probably about as light as we're going to be able to go without it looking too weird. Um, otherwise, the shoulders should be, like, really bright and everything else will be, like, really dark. Even now, it's still a little bit weird, but that's fine. Um, uh, what happened? Okay, um, so we went up against... Well, we haven't gone up against Gorilla Grodd, but we've gone up against his forces. And so that's where we're continuing from. This is Superman. We're not going to let Grodd win this one. No, we're not. You can find the Flash inside his base. Oh, okay. so You can take down Grodd. Okie dokie. We can do that. We can take on Grodd. He's easy. Um, I apologize, everybody. I'm so tired right now. I... <laughs> These last couple days, I've been... Not only have I been working on scripts and things like that, but... um. Fallout has started to consume my, my life, and so I'll be, like, playing some of that, and then I'll stop, and I'll do some writing, and then I'll go back to playing it, and then I'm up till, like, 5 in the morning. So I'm so tired. I could, like, collapse right now. It's ridiculous. So I may not be as, like, on par funny as I normally am, which is not that much anyway. <laughs> but, um... Uh, in, in, to, to kind of take the, the stress off of me, Flash and Arrow, uh, um, stuff's happened. Um, okay. Shut up. Nobody wants to hear from you. You guys are stupid monkeys. Um, the last time, okay, I should have thought about this when I was talking about it, but I didn't because I'm stupid. Um... But I was telling you guys in not the last episode, but the previous episode before that, uh, that Flash loses feeling in his legs. And I was like, oh, my God, what are they going to do? Are they going to are they going to like, is he going to have to overcome it? Or, you know, are they going to have to get like arrow, you know, Oliver and and uh, uh uh, uh, Ray Begin in there to, to the fix his legs, and then in the new episode, uh, also spoilers if you guys didn't, you know, get that idea already. So, um, in the newest episode, it starts out and they're like, they ha show him walking, and then he gets into Harrison Wells's wheelchair and sits down, and he's all sad because his legs are all hurting and stuff, but they're like. Barry, if, if you didn't have this, the flash power of super heal, you would probably not be able to walk ever again. You'd be a paraplegic. I think that's the right word. Where you can't walk. Is that the right word? Paraplegic? Yeah, paraplegic. Because quadriplegic, I think, is where you can't move your arms or your legs. Reinforcements. That's not good. That's not good whatsoever. Stop it, monkey! Don't let Stop it! Get away. Do, 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 do. Now who's laughing, monkey boys? 
There we go. I have no idea if I got... If I... I thought I was supposed to... If, if I did that, I'd stop them and save everybody. I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, back to that. Um, so yeah, he's all sad that his legs hurt. And I realized at that moment that I was a total idiot. Because... Yeah, Barry has the super heal. And heals like super, super quick. Not that he can't die. You know, it's not like Wolverine style or, as, or like even Deadpool style. Where as long as his like brain exists, he can still live. Or like a chunk of his brain. At least with Deadpool, I think literally if there's like a chunk of his brain left, he can still rejuvenate from that and come back to life. Which is crazy, but yeah. Um, but yeah, I was like, oh, well, that was kind of a sad cliffhanger. Cause in, the, you know, in not, not the last episode, but the one before that, they're like, he, at the end, he's like, guys, I can't feel my legs. And everyone's like, <gasps> and, uh, <laughs> so yeah, I was kind of like, well, Okay, that's All my, like, huge pet peeve when it comes to stories, interior. is having pointless stuff in there that doesn't do oh, anything. Like, to when you lead the reader on, or the watcher on, to believing that whatever just happened is super important to the story. And so, I have no idea how that even affects anything, because by the end of the new episode, he can run again at full speed, he's totally fine. It, at least as far as we know, he's totally fine, and um, the newest episode, funnily enough, is about Gorilla Grodd. I guess that works out really well. And we have the Flash! Ah, oh, it's perfect! It's like I planned it. <laughs> I didn't. <laughs> I, I'm not smart enough to think that far ahead. Watch it! He's devolving those prisoners! No! Devolving? Ignorant, vainglorious fools! You know nothing, primitive scum. Tremble before Grodd. Before Grodd. All right, you, you big old monkey butts. You're going to face the might Try of Nick me. Nova. I think it just has that, that the name has just enough punch to it to actually seem scary. Come on, Grodd. Shiba. I will crush you with my bare hands. Avoid his charge. I don't know. No. Stupid gorilla grad being stupid. Suck hammer in the face. Shiba. Yeah. I don't want to use any um heal or anything to get power back. That would just be silly at this point. Oh, ran out of power. Rod is like super easy compared to like any other characters. Hey, I got a thingy. Whoa! You'll rue the day you cross Grodd, human. We will meet again. We will on Monkey Island. Not the not the game Monkey Island. I'm going to run to Gorilla City and check with Solovar. See you in a flash. See, look, my crotch is all messed up. If you guys watched the uh, watched the uh, last video I did with uh, Levi, yeah, my, my crotch is all messed up. I don't know why. I gotta talk to the devs and tell them about my crotch. I think they'd be pretty interested in it. God be honest. Humanity's evolution was a mistake. My own was destiny. I will reclaim this earth from all who stand in my way. Surrender a world that by rights belongs to me. I, who can control even the strongest minds and channel primal rage. Never! I will alter the flow of evolution and remake the world in my own likeness. Life is survival of the fittest. And Grodd will not just survive. He will triumph! Grod. Gorilla Grod. I was gonna say something. Oh! Uh, 
Okay, so there's an anime movie. I, ha I forget the name, but it's about Tanukis, and they all have huge testicles. That's a very common thing yeah, over there. That Tanukis have big old balls, and they can fly with their ball sacks. It's hilarious and amazing. Anyway, but <laughs> there was the scene where they're all standing there and like. I don't know what it is. I'm just stuck on the crotch area right now. <laughs> anyway, it's not like I was checking out Gorilla Grod's Grod. Um, it was all kind of blacked out, and I'm like, wouldn't it have been hilarious if it was just like a pair of gigantic balls instead? I just think that would be so funny. If uh, somebody should take a screenshot and then Photoshop it so they just have big tanuki balls. that that happened so bad <laughs> all right let's talk to uh oracle nice work head back to the police station and talk to the flash Ooh, yeah. trust me he's gonna get there first i know it's because you know i'm i'm flash powered i got super speed just not as super speedy as him star labs has confiscated grod's tech which should put a stop to his plans for world domination do, do, at least do, for today do, 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 do. i want to thank you for your courage under fire ah uh, you're welcome and I know soups the flash wants to thank you personally Ooh. He's in the local police station safe house oh i'm gonna uh, dodge the monkeys i don't want to deal with them right now i just want to get back to the, the the safe house and talk to people and stuff and Things like that. Where were we with the Flash thing? Uh... Oh, yeah. So, okay. So, yes. the whole, like... Uh, him not being able to fill his legs... Was just like... Why? I don't... I don't understand. It doesn't make any sense to me. Like, why does that matter? Nuclear? That was weird. Um... It is one that I need. Uh, that seems like nothing here. But I need to get down to Geiger Blast, so I guess we'll grab that one. Fine. Let's get it done. Eee. Oh yeah, that's the pull where you pull everybody in. But yeah, it I just don't like that in stories. It's really annoying. It Maybe some people like it. You know, this is cliffhanger, and then it leads to nothing. But personally, I think that's stupid. So yeah, I, I, I we'll have to see what happens. I am interested in here. Let's talk to Flash real quick. Hey, it's my partner in Monkey Ball. You up for a new crisis? Cause Hive's taken over the Metrodome, and Superman thinks you can handle it. See, even the Flash understands the Monkey Balls thing. My God. It, it's like we're synced together in time or something. Uh, I got a whole bunch of garbage I need to sell. All right, we're going to go sell that stuff and then we'll start some sort of mission. What do we have? What is this? Oh, pest control. Such an easy one. You have to do it on time. Anyway. Oh, we are in the wrong place. But yeah, I um uh the the other thing that's with it is be, the reason that Barry is like that. Order, Actually, I, maybe it's not as well as making sure you've got the latest greatest gear. Maybe it's not that. Maybe it's because uh Zoom squished his spine when they were fighting. He did he did kind of a bane on him. Like Bane did to Batman. But uh what was my weapon that I'm using? Oh, the uh, two-handed. Keeping your equipment in good um, working order makes all the difference, as well as making sure you've got the latest, greatest gear. But Wells created some sort of like fancy schmancy. Oh, right, 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 two by four. Um, some fancy schmancy. Uh, Star Labs' goal is to keep our chemical that was supposed to slow zoom technology. down. It was supposed to like inhibit his speed or something. Um. Brainiac but is attacking. Barry targeting sites was bottle, also hit with the, or he was stabbed by Zoom with the dart. This is Oracle. They had that stuff in it. Brainiac ship. 
So taking out his forces on the ground should be a cakewalk. Yay. Staging his front line nearby. Head over there and kick some can. All right. Um, but yeah, Barry had that. And I was like, oh, no. Now Barry's going to have to try even harder to be better than Zoom. But then at the end of the episode, Cisco shoots Zoom in the neck. And Zoom's like, ah, and runs away. And uh, so I'm super confused because it's another one of those things that's like a cliffhanger that makes no sense because they're like they hit Barry or Barry gets stabbed with the dart and you're like, oh, no. And then Zoom gets stabbed with it and you're like, oh, so look at this mess. We're Covering back at we square one. Bogies. Like, it doesn't make any... Ugh. Stop doing that, The Flash! Stop it. Stop it, it makes no sense. I don't know, maybe... Maybe they're trying to do something like... Barry's injury mixed with the chemical made him slightly faster than Zoom. And Zoom's powers were reduced, at least for a time. I don't know, I have no idea. It's just, it's so confusing. It doesn't make any sense why they would establish all these things and then just immediately abandon them. I don't understand. It It's like they had one writer and he's like, all right, this is going to be the plan. And then they had another writer come in and be like, nope, we're going this way with the story. I don't... Uh, I get irritated by stuff like that, you know? I know I'm not a great story writer, but gosh, I really do try. And make everything make sense eventually. You know? Everything I, I try... Like, when I write a story or, you know, I write the scripts or I do the machinimas and things like that. I always want every piece of the puzzle to make sense, at least in the end, to the, to the watcher or the reader. Because if it doesn't, then there was no point in, in the first place for it. Brainiac must know we mean business. He's targeting my comm signals. Hang on. Okay. Anyway, as I was oh, uh, finally a signal. Get ready to move. No. Brainiac is capturing other exobite targets. I don't care about them. Bottle the whole place. <laughs> Save those people and take them to the drop-off safe zone nearby. All uh, right. I'll I'll go help them. I guess. Uh, it's their own damn fault for getting in this problem. Where's the glowy? There it is. Yeah. Some more story. Attention, citizens of Earth. Do not attempt to resist, or you will be destroyed. I'm not afraid of you. This planet and all it contains already belongs to Brainiac. Your resistance only prolongs the inevitable. The inevitable pie I will be eating. Um. What was I talking about? Things with the flash. Oh, yeah. But yeah, I feel like it's got to at least make sense to a certain point. Because if it doesn't, then it was told. Oh, I don't think you got that one. No, I did. I did. I get that one. All right. Cool. Enemy. It's mine. Leave me alone, accumulator. It's mine. But yeah, I, it just it drives me nuts. Because if it never made sense for the story, like it never had any beneficial or negative Damage. effect on the characters within the story then it's just a means to heighten drama or heighten action or heighten the mis mystery. It's just to heighten it. It doesn't actually do anything. It's like a placebo. So it just drives me nuts, you know? I hate to, I hate to rant about it, but I have to. It just drives me nuts. Now I go crazy and I become evil. And then I have to play a villain character again, you know? <laughs> But yeah, um, that's just kind of my complaint about it. Otherwise, the episode... Oh, I didn't get in the hole. But there's a glowy over here.
This is Gotham Now, and I'm Vicki Vale. I'm the Vicki Vale. The only as Brainiac has attacked our planet and bottled up our cities. He's leveling entire neighborhoods in his quest to regain the Exobites. <laughs> Luckily, a whole new generation has risen to fight this menace. Some led by our own Batman and, believe it or not, the Joker. These are our best hope against the alien menace. Sorry, solo killage. Required. But you got bottled. Um, so the other part of the new Flash episode was the whole Gorilla Grodd thing. And apparently, Grodd is starting to get really, really smart. Like, compared to what he was before in the first season, he's really starting to understand what's happening to him. And understand the intelligence that he has now. Um, so he's trying to create more gorillas like him which is what Grodd does he wants to Critical make damage. everyone as you know a monkey like him or a gorilla like him that's smart Mind and he wants damage. to do that um so yeah the, the entire episode kind of there. revolved around them trying to figure out where Grodd is because he's Hard very Grodd. good at hiding in uh in central city and at the end, though, it had a really weird thing because, you know, they beat Grodd, of course, because they have to. They have to defeat Grodd. But I was super confused about it because now they're really starting to focus in on the fact that there's... Uh, fix your mic, woman. Come on. Made him mad. He's targeting all of my comm frequencies. Luckily, I know a few tricks. So get to Brainiac's ground zero. With all those troops and ships, he'll start bottling any moment unless you stop him. Yay! Dead. Um, oh, you... You were such a bomb. I, I was taking care of that. Alert. There we go. Alright. Um... Tar but at the end, um, like I said, they were focusing in on how these uh, these for the 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 rips in time. I don't know the the dimensional like rip things or whatever they are. The, the whatever I I knew the word a second ago and now I don't because my brain is dumb. So yeah, but anyway. Um, they're really starting to focus in on them. So they send Grodd through one of those to, to defeat him. Because they can't, they can't beat Grodd, failing. I guess. I thought that it... It's going to drive me nuts how Barry can't, like... Just, just be Barry Allen. Holy balls. Anyway. But they send Grodd through. And Wells, the good quote-unquote good wells says oh it's just a sanctuary in africa for gorillas like rod uh to go and i was like okay well that's fine it's just like a gorilla sanctuary but that probably means rod is going to create his gorilla army there right but at the end of the the episode it's freaking like it's like uh uh oh what's his name uh something humanite ultra humanite it's like his like playground of excitement and doom oh but yeah it's like an entire kingdom of the talking gorillas going on and i was like what that but wells was nice supposed to be a good guy those were the comma rays messing with my signal all systems go and brainiac doesn't even know what hit him head back to the safe house for a hero's welcome so yeah, that's like super confusing to me. Like maybe he has good intentions and he hasn't realized what that place has become. Maybe he really does think that it was just a sanctuary for gorillas that are similar to Grodd. You know, they can sort of communicate and they are highly intelligent. And so he's sending them there, you know, that's where they go. And in the process, they've created this kingdom of the gorillas <laughs> there. Um, 
and he doesn't realize it. But I have sneaking suspicion that Wells knew what was there. He knew that it wasn't just a sanctuary for gorillas like Grodd. He knew that there was like a kingdom, kingdom of the talking gorillas as what it is. Kingdom of the talking gorillas. So I, I am really confused as to where Wells lies We've all got to because he might be a really great guy or he might be for a horrible human being like he like his counterpart is Earth One counterpart was, you know, but that wasn't Wells's fault. Like the actual Wells was a really probably great human being and he was very smart and very nice and he had a lovely wife and everything was good. But then Ilbard Thon came and did bad things. So maybe... This alternate Earth version of Wells is not the nice guy that the Earth One was. He's actually probably a bad guy. I can see that happening. I just don't know where it fits in the story. Perhaps at the end of the series, after they've defeated Zoom, he gets... Somehow he gets... Oh, that would be such a twist, wouldn't it? It'd be flip-flopping the stories, but it would be similar in it. So if Zoom were to be a cause as it seems, Zoom wants to be the fastest uh the fastest person in any earth. So he's traveling through dimensions. So he's the the dimension traveler, time traveler type guy. Um so what if it was that the Earth two Harrison Wells decided at the end he wanted to get flash powers because he wants to defeat zoom. So he somehow finds a way to get flash powers and he takes the mantle of professor zoom because he's a professor. He's the, he is the only scientist that actually exists right now that could possibly retake up that mantle. And they show it off in the new episode you know, it's the same actor, so it doesn't really matter that much. But, you know, they're trying to show that he's basically the same person, which is kind of a bad thing if he's the same person. Just food for thought, anyway. But it was a very cool episode, and if you guys aren't watching The Flash, like you should be, y'all should be watching The Flash. take you to Metropolis's Queensland Boardwalk. Once a prosperous amusement park and beach, the boardwalk is now a twisted and broken reminder of our tumultuous times. Thanks for that, Booster, for bringing down the vibe in here. <laughs> but yeah, um, I think I'm going to leave it there for today, everybody. I know it was a lot shorter episode than usual but like i said i'm really really tired and um i'm just not feeling super <laughs> uh so thanks for joining me everybody if you enjoyed the episode please hit that like button and uh i will see you all next time